fine. How are you today? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? Good, thank you. How are you enjoying the weather? Rather dank and miserable, to be honest. Yeah. It's a, it's a pain to walk in. But it's nice if you like rainy days. Okay. What types of questions are there? Uh, well, you get many different question types. You've got things such as closed and open questions. You've got direct, indirect, multiple questions. What are these different question types used for? Well, um, open questions would be used to gain an insight into someone's opinion. Closed questions would be used to... Sorry, closed questions would be used to for yes or no answers, like short, simple answers. Um, indirect questions would be used for trying to subtly gain information out of someone or something they might not want to tell you. Direct questions would be used for just straight up asking. What are interview styles and why would you use specific ones? Well, it all depends on how you want it to be perceived by the audience. You've got different styles like hard news, uh, light-hearted, combative, like, um, and there are others. But, um, like things such as hard news would be used for, like, to describe a terrorist attack or something that's quite hard hitting. Light hearted would be used for something more cheerful, like at the end of a news piece, like a puff piece. Combative would probably be used for a debate or you're trying to shame someone. How would you structure an interview? Well, um, you'd normally start with polite questions, such as, um, like, hi, how are you? Um, what do you think of the weather? Was traffic okay getting here? This would be to just like build a small relationship with the interviewee and to build rapport. Um, then you'd move on to more developmental questions which would like try to gain information about the topic but aren't as important as the key questions where you would try to gain the most information where you'd usually ask direct or indirect questions to gain your information. What skills would you need to use when doing an interview? Um, you need to be quite a good listener, because otherwise, you know, if, then if the per interviewer isn't listening, then there's no point in really doing the interview. Um, then again, it's also important for the interviewee to have these skills, because otherwise it can give the wrong impression. There's voice tones, which are quite important, because otherwise it can it can come across as like it's not what you said it's how you said it like you could say something and it could just seem completely negative because of your voice of tone then there's uh, body language like you don't want to you don't want to be slouched down because and looking around because it shows um that you're not really interested and as focused as you could be if you were interested how would you do interviews in different contexts um, well, again, it would depend. It depends on what type of context it is. If you've got, a, if you're doing a sports interview, it would be quite impartial. So you'd interview someone with great importance, like an ex-football player, like an ex-player of a team, or a manager of sorts. Um, the name of the interview would usually be a quote from the person being interviewed. Um, they would. You'd usually ask open questions because it's a lot easier for them to answer and it gives them an insight, like an example would be what did you think of um, the performance today in today's match? Uh, if you were looking at something like radio, no not radio, ma uh, magazines, you would have, um, like you'd have a big photo of the person being interviewed which would take up about half the page. You'd then have, like you'd have a quote next to their photo, like which they said again during the interview then you'd have little articles saying the question and again it would probably usually be open questions because it's easier for them to respond to. And finally, why would you do interviews? Uh, it all depends on what type of style you're trying to go for. If you want the audience to learn something or to be educated, it would be more of an informational piece. Um, if you're trying to go for an emotional piece, it would be more on something hard-hitting um, like, I, like um, for, as an example, there was the recent uh, documentary about um, the shootings in Paris. That was probably an emotional piece, and it gives people an insight into what, yeah, like into what is it, what it's like and what it's like to be there. Uh, then you'd have 
like an interpretive type piece where it would give either someone's account of a story or their reaction to it. Like, uh, an example of this would be an eyewitness account of a train derailing. Okay, thank you very much for coming down to be with me today. It was my pleasure. Thank you for having me.